everybody. Tom here from Bucket, Bucket Castle Photo. Yes, Ryan is here in the studio with me. He's laughing at me because I can't pronounce anything. Bucket Castle! <laughs> Bucket Castle. <laughs> anyway, it's the first day of spring. That usually means new life, new fun, new things. So I took a little trip down the street to our friends over at Hans Photo and Video. Not a sponsor, but a great place to do some shopping. You know, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Right, Ryan? What's in the bag? Well, in the bag is a 70 millimeter UV filter. Now, why would I buy a 77 millimeter UV filter? Because we need some dramatic music for this. As I've mentioned several times in the podcast, I would own one of these within a few weeks. And this is a beautiful box for Tamron SP7200-2.8. It's got vision correction. It's got the ultra silent drive. It even has a six year warranty. Woo, I hope the hologram's coming out in that picture. Yeah, good. So you're seeing me open this for the first time, though it's not the first time it's been opened. They opened it for me at the store to show me everything was there. Got my little card. Man. That's everything. There's some silica gel in there if you want to eat that. So let's see, what do we got here? We've got instructions. It's a lens. I don't need instructions. Some nice packaging. A lens hood. It's a giant fucking lens hood, by the way. That's, that's, that's huge. Oh, some bottom packaging. Yep, don't need that. Saving the packaging on the off chance that in the six, six years it needs to go to service. But it's not made by Nikon, so it probably doesn't have to go to service anytime soon. Ooh. It's pretty. So I've got auto, manual, VC on off. It's got the foot. Foot is important because this is actually heavy enough that you can't put the camera right on the tripod. You gotta put the lens on the tripod. The removable foot it does come all the way off, though I'll probably never take it off again after showing you this. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, it's shiny. It's very shiny. So, I'm excited to shoot with this. Compared to the uh, Canon L, which I always talk about wanting my L glass, this is about 96% of the quality for 60% of the price. I mean, really, you know, the old saying is the gear doesn't matter until it matters. So, this is where that comes in. You'll notice no telescoping, no telescoping, just turns, it's all internal. It is significantly shorter than the Nikkor version because we put it up against Ryan's and it, it is like, it's a good couple of centimeters shorter and it's gonna be fun to shoot with. In fact, I cheated, I cheated a little bit. I didn't want to record the video on the 6D because I won't put the lens on the 6D. So off comes the 2470. And on goes the 7200. Oh, that's nice. Why are you in video mode? Oh, because I bumped that. Ooh.
There I am standing behind the camera. Let's see if I can get a picture of him. Got a new toy to play with. And I'll give you a real good review of this later after I've got to shoot with it for a while. You actually saw the first five shots I've ever taken with it right there. There's nothing to review off of that. But until I do another video, whenever you're shooting, just remember to ask yourself this. Where does your frame stop? <laughs>